welcome in this video I'm going to show you how to create a dot plot using R and specifically this is going to be a dot plot not a Cleveland dot plot so that means that we have dots for each observation the Cleveland dot plot is the one where you only have one dot for each category uh, to show you the packages I have installed by default in R Studio, that's these. Control Enter actually loads uh, this line into here. Um, these are the ones that I think come standard with R Studio. Um, I will be needing a uh, package known as Foreign, which I already uh, installed, so I only need to load it using Library Foreign, and I only use this to actually read my data file, which is an SPSS data file. So I'll load that in, I'll get quite some errors, but that's okay. And I'll show you what the data looks like. Um, it's uh, about 55 observations. And uh, in this case, the, uh, they were students and they were from three different locations. And I'm gonna use the dot plot on the location. Now in R base or R uh, plus the graphics, which is coming standard with uh, R Studio, there is a function known as strip chart and um, it requires a numerical field and if you use a stack you get somewhat of a dot plot as you can see here although uh, I would have to zoom in to actually see the differences and as you can see the dots are quite far apart so if I adjust that um, but uh, actually I'm, I'm not going to um, it's possible to actually uh, get this slightly better but uh, it's just uh, a pain to do so I rather actually use ggplot2 um, I installed it already and then uh, load it in ggplot2 and then I can simply actually say ggplot uh, the data I'm going to be using AES um, X is going to be the variable location uh, it's going to be a dot plot and I don't need to see a, a vertical scale so I'll set that to null then if I load uh, this one in I actually get a far nicer dot plot up here as you can see and as you can see here the uh, there were the most Harlem students uh, fewer uh, demon students and slightly less Rotterdam students um, be careful though if you have a lot of observations so for example I have another data file which has if I'm not mistaken, around almost 2,000 observation, 1974. If you then use a dot plot, um, I actually doing the stack ratio now to 0.01, but then you notice that all the bars are actually, um, all the circles are overlapping so much that you might as well just do a bar chart. Okay, well, I hope you found this video still uh, helpful. If you did, please uh, subscribe, that really helps. Um, and thank you for watching.